Soldier 76 is now gay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to think about anything other than this for a bit. It's just gonna exist in my brain. <laughs> like, explicit confirmation that it was literally just because Blizzard was taking heat over controversy. Oh! That's... That's beautiful, honestly. Oh yeah, Isaac, how is your sponsored stream playing a game that you hate? <laughs> I wasn't actually aware that you hate Type Lumina. I'm sorry to hear that. Fucking Cal said I should play Dr. Dude. So I set up Dr. Dude. And then I had to do my own camera POV for it. Because fucking horse shit nightmare where every table is supposed to be rotated 270 degrees by default because the people who originally wrote VPX just didn't like the idea of rotating their monitors, which I think is cool. <laughs> I think what happened is that an older version of the diversity chart leaked, <laughs> which listed Soldier 76 as straight. <laughs> And then the next version that shows up mysteriously has that entry changed. I just think... There's something amazing about that. It's for one coin for one credit. Sure. Don't mind if I do. So, I have no idea what this game is or what its rule set is. Check out the, uh, oh fuck, I looked up to make sure it was working, and I just instantly drained. Check out the spiffy new fucking uh, alphanumeric display. I had to do some work to get that set up, which is to say, uh, hey, would you like to pick which of these fucking seven windows with the same title should be in which spot on your stream layout? I definitely did. How you doing? Bonjour. Yeah? You need to get away from there. Can I just do that shot over and over again? Ooh. Scary. Oh. That's cool. I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm sorry for not streaming much recently. I had a week-long internet outage and still don't know why it happened or what was wrong. Catch the ray. Catch the ray, huh? Well, that sure is a bright red flashing playfield element. That probably merits my attention in some way. That feed seems pretty nice. Can I, like, post-transfer over to the right flipper to actually take that shot? Ooh, clean. <laughs> Fucking bang. No chance. Alright. Can I do it again? <laughs> Not quite. Ah, scary. Alright, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah? Oh, it's locked, okay. I keep forgetting that games of this era, like, oh. never have fucking auto-launch for multi-balls. Oh. Oh. Got a problem up there? <laughs> that magnet interaction was scary as fuck. Is that the mix master? Is that what's going on? I mean, it certainly looks like it's doing some mixing. So just bomb it down that ramp over and over again? I can do that. This lighting is insane. I 
really just want to keep these in play. How did you kill time in the meanwhile? Uh, I had cellular, so it wasn't desperate. It wasn't good either, but it wasn't desperate. Mostly I just studied up on the new FF14 fights and, like, <laughs> made fun of one of my friends for drinking half a bottle of fucking 50% alcohol. <laughs> it sounds like I should be leaving something out here, but I swear I'm not. Played a little Hyper Demon. Pick that up. It's fucking hard. <laughs> Dude actually just fucking knocked back half a handle of fucking moon juice. I wish I remember what that fucking stuff was called, but I remember that I looked it up and the fucking official website is like, hey, do you want to make a cocktail with whiskey, bacon, and maple syrup? And that was my reaction to that. Just, goodbye. You're a geek. Yeah? FM synth enjoyers win. Hey, who are you? Yeah? Hey, baby, can I buy you a couple of Alright. This has some personality, at least. I thought that might have been a ball saver. Oh, okay. Canadian cocktail. Yeah, I don't know, it's like... Oh, shit, I don't know what my own initials are. Now I have to get this off of the fucking board, that's my new objective. So, 10 mil, to, 10 mil to beat, huh? Hey. Hey. My life is gone! My life is great! Oh. The gift of God! Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a game like that for the rest of the night, huh? This fucking rules. <laughs> yeah. That's that's an appropriate reaction to what just occurred. I gotta start using pinball call-outs for those, actually. Thank you, Rido. Your continued insistence on being financially irresponsible funds the worst content on the internet. <laughs> actually, it funds... <laughs> right now, it funds my fucking internet bill for services that I don't get. Okay, so let me level with you. If you want to move somewhere, and the only ISP in the area is Cox Communications, you need to find another place. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, there's nothing that makes it worth it. You should probably be responsible and shoot the incredibly rewarding giant red shot. On the fly? No. Wide. It's going faster than if I cradled it. You fucking stop! You actually need to behave. Thank you! Am I getting you Modern Warfare 2? <laughs> Wait, Modern Warfare 2? Is this like Modern Warfare 2 2022? Is that what's going on? I have been keeping up with COD. I think Haley will shoot me if I keep dodging Valorant and then like hop on fucking search and destroy the next day. 
Like, she's actually gonna just fucking show up at my house. You're a geek. What'd you say about me? Oh. Yeah, fucking get owned. <laughs> you didn't care that time. Okay. Oh! Got there. <laughs> yeah, I'm... So far, I have no fucking clue what's going on at any time on this table. Hey, Mark. You're a dweeb. Shut up. Oh. Thank you. Oh, there's a fucking orbit back there. Okay. <laughs> Just play Apex. <laughs> I played Apex for a bit. Never really got, like, acceptably good at it in any way. That was dumb. That was just bad play. It's like, I don't agree with the fact that people can pick the only character that I wanted to play out from under me, was basically my relationship with that game. Rest in piss Overwatch pre-hero limit. We uh, really disagree with the idea of adding uh, hero limit or forced comps. We believe that experimentation is core to what makes Overwatch Overwatch. Oh no, it's six Winston. Never mind, fuck, go back. Here's the Apex secret, pick up a controller. Oh, is it one of those? Is it a controller aimer game? Let me hit another fucking light, fuck it. Hello there. It's crazy seeing people on the Kovacs subreddit get into, like, 400 post threads about how, like, no, I spent 700,000 hours getting fucking Voltaic, and I'm getting out aimed by 14-year-olds with a dual shock. Hey, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Absolutely every single piece of news that has come out related to Overwatch since the release of, like, Bridget has directly been, like, manufactured out of whole cloth to dodge a controversy and redirect fucking news attention. Absolutely nothing about Overwatch since that time has been real when announced. They're just making it up. Like, what Overwatch 2 is doesn't even make sense, and it comes out, like, tomorrow. <laughs> There's nothing in it. <laughs> if you're really a cheater, you combine mouse wheel to controller buttons, then you can tap strafe on roller. Oh, no. Does Apex input lock people? It must not, because you said fucking you gotta win with controller. I respect that COD only lo allows uh, mixed input types in uh, casual. Then again, like, the degree of separation that ranked play exists in, separate from, like, the casual matchmaking rule set, is kind of deranged. Like, they really just remove 75% of the game because it's not balanced, but then leave it in. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Fucking message received. Pro teams allow any amount of controller or mouse and keyboard. Oh, man. Play with my Steam controller, can I get aim assist with mouse aiming? Oh man. Mouse like joystick hits different. That's like. I wanna see trackpad input and like gyro support really hit mainstream on PC now that the uh, Steam Deck is out here. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> that interjection just erasing a bar of the song. I fucking love pinball. What the fuck? I fixed my nudge so it no longer fucking tilts me instantly, and it's become way more fun to play now that I can, like, use it somewhat consistently. It's like, for those of you who haven't, like, touched a physical machine in a while, you actually have to put a lot of force into it to, like, get a tilt warning on a machine. Like, literally, we brutalize Black Knight Sword of Rage, and... Bray has tilt, got a tilt warning once, and I have gotten one never. And all of the machines at that location are like that. This is not a physical machine, sadly. I fucking wish I had fucking 90s pinball at my house, dude. Then I could sell it and move. <laughs> There's no way Dr. Dude isn't like fucking 10 grand. Because pinball is actually like that. Whoa! Starting to suspect Dr. Dude might not be a real doctor. I actually don't even understand what this theme is. I mean, the good doctor is explaining how to play the game at the center of the playfield. It's as easy as A. Complete magnet, heart, and gift. B. Go for a spin in the mix master. C. Catch the ray. The hotter you get, the cooler you are. This is a fucking video game. I am way cool. That's crazy. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. Do I actually look up a rule shit for this? <laughs> rule shit. Okay. <laughs> Great. Whoosh. The theme of the game revolves around gaining coolness. That is the whole summary. I wonder if there was, like, some debate over how to phrase that in the editor community. Wikipedia edit drama goes crazy, too. Like, there's an Among Us meme being used as a visual aid for, like, Bayes' theorem. And the talk page is just... Hey, we need to remove that meme. No, something being a meme is not sufficient reason to remove it from the article. Hey, uh... I am okay. Me too, honestly. I'm just gonna shoot that fucking mouth over and over again to hear the stupid fucking thing. <laughs> Mixmaster. Can I backhand the fucking Mixmaster? Seems like I might need to give it some room. Alright, so we're in the fucking pops for 20 years again. Okay, if I give it a little nudge coming down that return, I can get it onto the right flipper and take the shot without having to post transfer. And then straight to the ray. That's a nice feed, too. If you can make the shot on the fly, it's like... Straight to the reward. Whoa. There it is! There's the super dude. chat! What the fuck? <laughs> How does that work? Okay, I'm literally gonna mouse over this and see if I can figure out anything about it. Chat highlight settings. Uh, okay. Sure. All good. Um... Review unban requests. Wow, this UI does not work at all in this tiny ass dock. If I refresh, can I get out of here? Is my chat just fucking fucked right now? I actually just don't have chat anymore. That's crazy. I can't believe it. Super chat ruined everything. No, seriously, how do I fucking fix this? Help! 
I'm trapped in the moderator panel. Wait, no, this is my entire fucking stream. <sighs> okay. I hit pop out and it popped out in my fucking browser. All right, fuck it. You guys, you guys live in my browser now. Sorry. I don't control this anymore. Close and reopen the dock. Oh yeah, it's it's a default dock, so it's in a different spot, which is why I didn't see that. Nope, did not work, dude. All right, owned by money. Wow, super chat doesn't even show in the scroll back. That's crazy. All right, shoot for Mixmaster, huh? I think I can do that. You guys just live down here now. Uh, stay where you are. Okay, backhanding that is not gonna happen right now. Can I separate these? Oh, wow. That was actually pretty okay. Get out. Stop. Did I hit the shot? No, I hit the ray. I can't fucking see shit right now. Wide. I just want the ram, brother, I promise. Head for the mix master. I know. I'm working on it, I swear. That was a pretty sick pass. Alright, I got a jackpot on the way out. All good. All good! Oh. And I guess now I have two X scoring. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, it's like you have to hit the drops or uh, the uh, fucking targets in the um, Mix Master X number of times, I think. So it's probably kind of random how much credit you get for a shot. I think I got it in one there, but it took me two last time. Nice of you to... Uh Highlight that shot. I guess that might be a hurry up. Oh well. Alright, so. Fucking 10 mil won't be too hard to beat, I think. Okay, but real. What what is fucking going on with Super Chato? Twitch elevate message. Viewers in participating channels may make a one-time payment to elevate their message in chat. Viewers can choose from five tiers of monetary support. The elevation duration of a viewer's chat message scales with the amount contributed. $5 30 seconds, $10, one minute, $25, 1 1.5, wait, $50, two minutes, $100, 2.5 minutes. 100 United States dollars. <laughs> or $5, five times. Like, $5 is insane, but how do... Literally, how does the scaling work? Creators receive a 70-30 split. <laughs> Money. Revenue generated from this experiment will appear in your analytics as experiment. So this isn't even like a feature? This is... This is an experiment. Okay. And it goes in my channel feed. That's great. Wait a minute. Throughout the duration of this experiment, participants will see elevated chat appear in one of two places. Top of chat, 
In this experiment variation, viewers will see elevated chat appear at the top of chat. Bottom of video, in this experiment variant, viewers will see elevated chat appear in the bottom of the video player. And it's a cue! <laughs> you can't have both. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This experiment will run for four weeks. How did you select the creators in this experiment? Lol, I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. I need everyone here to see this. Hold on. <laughs> hold, hold the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't you don't own shit here. <laughs> That is so fucking awesome. <laughs> Easy. What the fuck? Why now? We were just... Demon, you could have had an elevated chat for a whole two and a half minutes. How could you... How could you pass up that opportunity? Did you make a mistake? I don't understand. Who who wouldn't want to pin their message to the top of the chat for two and a half minutes? And give Twitch 50%? Now you see they get, they only get 30%. I get a whole 70% of the money that you intended for me. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ, dude. Really appreciate that. That's actually inc <laughs> Were you just waiting for the right time? That's like... That's ridiculous, dude. Thank you very much. 70% of $100, that's like math dollars, right? I think so. <laughs> it's like 65 whole dollars. True! How about I wire transfer to bypass Twitch? Uh, sure thing. We accept uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, and Bitcoin. Shit. Online monetization is getting weird. I think Twitch finally realized that there is actually no force on Earth that can make people watch advertisements anymore. This will totally my not be special. God. They did go over the, uh... Oh no, I can't talk about moderation problems with the fucking gift of gab in the background. I can't even focus. Uh, they went over how you can't elevate any message that gets caught by Automod, obviously. And moderators can also work off elevated messages the same as any other message. I don't know if chat delay is effective, though. Actually, is chat delay even the official feature? I forget. I think I remember something about channels wanting to, uh, I, I can't remember whether it was a client side or a channel side option to delay chat by a bit to let third party moderation tools and uh, human moderators uh, catch stuff. Bitcoin lol. No, don't you see? Web 3 will solve Blizzard taking away the Overwatch 1 heroes. <laughs> you will have true digital ownership of a link to a certificate saying that you purchased a link to a certificate. Which is basically the same thing as having your own personal Soldier 76. I saw a fucking headline today about Sega making its first blockchain game, and I didn't even click on it because I don't want to encourage <laughs> journalism. <laughs> Does anybody know what's going on with that? Hey, 
Mix it up! Oh. Head for the mix master. And I refuse to know. That's kind of where I'm at. I'll hang out in blissful ignorance for a bit if that's fine with everybody. Alright, I'm heading for the mix master. Fucking calm down. Or I could shoot the ray over and over again, even when mystery isn't up. <laughs> nice. Alright. So that should light ray. Hey, on the fly. Okay. Sonic Frontiers, your take? It's not out yet. I trust nothing about fucking games media. I'm tired of fucking outright. Did it really dump it straight out of the pops between the fuck? Straight down the middle? God. Anyway, I don't trust anything about fucking games media. There's an entire industry based on Sonic was never good. I will wait for friends with more discretionary income than I have to buy it. And based on their opinions of it, I will decide whether it is worth experiencing for myself. <laughs> then again, someone recommended Overlord to me, like, unironically, so maybe there's just no hope for anyone. It's time you must play Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk isn't actually good now, right? Like, Cyberpunk didn't actually do a No Man's Sky. I mean, I don't even believe No Man's Sky did a No Man's Sky. Cyberpunk was actually always good, it was just glitchy. I know, uh, Frey played through a good amount of it, and was like, this is a good experience with some titanic rough edges, and some extreme fucking ludonarrative donut. I don't know shit beyond that, really. I mean, I watched the Crabcat video. Was it Crabcat? It was something like Crabcat. Oh yeah, cause fucking Trigger's doing an anime, right? Right. Hey. It was Crab Cat? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't Frey say the, say the same thing about KH? Yes, and I believe him about KH. It's just like... The Kingdom Hearts rough edges are like... The machine in your high school shop class with, like, the yellow and black vinyl on the side of it that says, this machine does not know the difference between metal and flesh, nor does it care. It's like, yes, technically that is a rough edge. I am still going to treat it with... The Gift of Gab! This is just gonna interrupt me every single time I start talking. You mean the difference between darkness and No! No, that is not what I mean! <laughs> that is literally not what I said or what I intended. Hey, you're a dark. These fucking Kingdom Hearts people, man. Oh. Fucking, I'm sad that I don't have emotions type beat. Hey, you're a dark. So is this really just shoot magnet three times, shoot the heart three times? Where the fuck is gift? Oh, gift of gab. Is it really just shoot gab three times, shoot heart three times, shoot magnet three times, and then bomb it into the mix master? Is that the whole last game? It's like I'm fine with that. All good. Molecular million is flashing. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, the, uh, the three lights on the Mixmaster indicate what you've, uh, completed, I think. So if I shoot hard again, there we go. Alright, we fucking died. But I learned something. Whoa! Whoa!
It's not gonna be Dr. Dude all night. But I kinda wanna have one really fucked up game on this. Either that or I could just fucking switch to Hyper Demon and immediately alienate everyone who is, like, not watching at max bitrate. And also completely immune to motion sickness. That game's a fucking problem. It's kind of existing in my brain right now. Those fucking pops are juiced, what the fuck? So what lights mystery? Seems like at the start of the game you get spotted a couple lights for uh, each of the main targets. I was looking specifically for pre-DMD games today because I wanted to uh, see if this whole seven segment business works out. Except as you can see, it's about 500 Gorillion segment, not quite 7 segment. I'm trying to evaluate how I feel about the choice to uh, have the unlit display segment still visible there. Probably isn't even visible on Twitch bit, right, if I'm being honest with myself. I look at my shit in the preview too often. Alright, uh... Alright, heart's done. Hit a shot to Gab. My life was done! My life was dragged! Till I acquired the gift of Gab! Always be excellent! Never be rude! Get the gift of Gab! And then there's a target at the back of the fucking magnet shot that actually turns on the magnet, right? Sick. Whoa! No way. Really? My money was actually taken from me. Also, that ball hitting the fucking trough sounded like a fucking trash can slamming. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, so... There's a soft plunge. Maybe we do that instead of fucking pop bumpers into slings and to die. Might be worth consideration. Except all I have is the A button for a plunger. Because I don't know how to set up fucking analog plunge hey, hey, on doing? an Xbox yeah, gamepad. Literally, the last time I tried to do that, I managed to plunge so hard out of Theater of Magic that the ball fucking clipped through the glass. And for the rest of the session, the fucking machine refused to start because it had a pinball missing. There was just nothing I could do about that. See, so you also got into the pinball in mood. Yeah, grats on your Godzilla score, by the way. Has that table been treating you? I hear it's fucking fucked up. I have a turn for fan. I don't know what level the fan is on at any time, but I know when it's. I know when I've switched it to high because suddenly it gets loud as shit even before it started spinning. I don't know, virtual pinball is cool because I can make all the displays pink and no one can stop me. Very good. Alright, so this is just gonna be the way I interact with Dr. Dude for a bit. Message received. I actually wonder if there's any way to modify this fucking thing to draw multiple POVs at the same time. Then I could do the fucking between the flippers cam. <laughs> Dude. 
Yes, that is the game you're playing. Nice observation. Alright, I just gotta give it a tap when it's coming out of the fucking pops. Not like this. Come on! Ball cam. Yeah, just attach a fucking camera to the ball. Not it's not just its position, it's rotation too. Chroma key out silver. The reflections are actually so insane that it might not get caught. I do wonder if I could use a brighter ball image to uh, show up on stream a little bit better, though. Hey, Use the doing? fucking Twilight Zone Powerball. It's been awesome. Table is overwhelming, but it's super fair. Never felt like the ball is out of my control. Yeah, that's nice when it's like, when drains feel like your fault the game is, like, totally different, then it's just, uh-oh, well, I guess it just fucking bounced into hell again. Like, I like Black Knight Sword of Rage, but that table has been kicking our asses left, right, and center for ages. And sometimes to stupid shit, like it just going straight down the middle, going for the super skill shot. And it's like... Then we move literally one machine over and play uh, Iron Maiden. Where the upper flipper, like the upper left flipper, isn't even working. And I play for like 15 minutes on that machine and have a great fucking time. All of my drains feel completely like I took a dumb shot. And like it was entirely my fault. Got to see a bunch of modes. It's like, dude, sometimes I die in my first mode in Black Knight. Sometimes I don't fucking start modes in that game. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. And it's I like... I think if I could choose one table to own at home, it would be Black Knight for sure. But if I'm fucking swiping every time, I don't know, maybe Iron Maiden looks a little more attractive to me. Tron Legacy makes me dread ball saves, because like half the time the real punch just finds a way to side drain. Oh yeah, is it uh, like the arcade kick out? Is that gonna stay lit between balls, please? Thank you. It really is just completely random when it comes out of there. You got it. The bumpers above arcade just launch it out. Ah, oh, yeah, fuck those things. I feel like having pops so close to an outline is so scary. What? <laughs> What's this about a gazillion? No, dude, come on. Mm. All right, let's do Gab while we're here. Head for Reflex hey, 3. Oh, it's like a sequence of shots. Okay. Maybe I should have post transfer to try and go for 3 there. I don't know what it scores. So. Opportunity's gone now, so may as well try to finish up Gab, or just fucking brick it completely. Hey, you're a dark. I think I might actually really like this table. I haven't decided yet. Are you fucking crying? I'm not even hitting you. I don't know where I thought that was gonna go after that nudge, and so my brain just averaged it. Alright, so what I've learned, I cannot actually hit any shot on this table besides Mixmaster. 
Okay, so Reflex started in the Pops. Played Terminator 3 today, solid but hard, and the external RPG bonus shot mechanism didn't work at all. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's like one of the fucking draws of uh, T3, isn't it? I backhand it, no chance. Alright, Reflex is gone. How the fuck am I supposed to actually get it wide enough to hit Magnet? I kind of just watched that happen. Alright, go next! That's the credit sound, by the way. You know, 100,000 for that shot ain't bad, right? I'm trying to think if there's anything coming out soon that I'm actually, like, excited for. I mean, in terms of pinball, there's Stern's 007, which has some of the worst looking artwork I have ever fucking seen, and I assume it's because of fucking licensing shenanigans with the people who own the IP. The people. Implying people. Alright, I'm gonna fucking transform to the right flipper. Or not. Yeah. I was really gonna roll off? Alright, I got Magnet. Can I transfer? Nice. Excellent. Family Guy is unplayable tilted right now, but I didn't want to tell a guy drunkenly explaining scoring in the table to his chef. <laughs> the fucking That's image of that guy in a baseball game <laughs> is the only thing I can think of when you're trying to explain pinball rules to someone. No, dude, see, it's really interesting because when you shoot it into some places instead of other places, different things happen. Also, there's a mode called Fart Multiball. Said with a completely straight face. Yeah? Okay, seriously. Is starting Dudometer just random or what? Alright. I can let that roll over to the right flipper as soon as I uh, plunge the other one. Really? I hit it in time? No way. Nope. I don't know what a gazillion is. I'd like to find out. Hey, baby, can I buy a that was like one of the gab callouts. I thought for a second that it might have spotted me gab, but I guess not. Yeah, it's called Dr. Dude because when the table fucking bomb something straight down the middle, you go, DUDE! Hey, how you doing? Bonjour! Yeah, it's... As I understand it, a lot of what's being showcased is pre-production. So people are hoping it'll improve. But, like, the 007 cab... What's been showcased of it literally fucking looks like people stickered up shit mame cabs. Over a hundred thousand arcade games, dude. It's like, I don't know, you had some options for Bond. 
scrapbook was not the aesthetic I would have picked first. Dude! A direct appeal to Dr. Dude in the same way that you might, like, call upon Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, it's like, the playfield is like Headshot City, but it's like, it's okay. After having witnessed the glory of fucking Stern 24, there is no playfield hey, that oh, will yeah. ever look dumber, IMO. Hey. My brother in the my doctor in dude! You hey, shot hey. the ball. The uh, super limited edition looks spectacularly bad. I don't know what the fuck that was all about. But it's also the super limited edition and no one will ever own it. Like, why would you theme it to a fucking specific movie? I don't understand that. What is the fucking... What is the ridiculous shit that I'm thinking of? Oh yeah, here we go. Fucking Stern Supreme. 2018. Which I believe is just a retheme of, like, a Spider-Man game. I, I just want to point out that uh, this... Oh, hey, that's still there. Nice. That this is real and you can buy it. Just... <laughs> well, I don't think you can buy it anymore, but at one point you could. <laughs> I wonder if anyone ever dumped it for uh, the pin mame. Hey, mix it up. For the mix master. <laughs> See, now I'm starting to understand what Cal was talking about with this table being fucked up. Oh, I fucking didn't. Nice. All right, well, nobody needed to see that drain anyway. I need to set up something better for fucking display capture on uh, pinball streams. My fucking layout situation is a nightmare right now. Dude, I don't even have chat in OBS anymore. It's in a Firefox window on a different monitor because my OBS dock is still fucking the moderator panel when I tried to investigate what a super chato actually is or does. Supreme themed Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet? What? That I haven't heard about either. Can you guys see the nurse above the right flipper? I don't know if the stream is quite high quality enough for you to appreciate that fucking face, but like, it's worth appreciating. Supreme Tekken crossover. Oh my god, help me. I wonder what advances bonus. Alright, hold on. While this is here, I'm going to look up. <laughs> Supreme Mortal Kombat Arcade. Arcade 1-Up? Okay, this links to an article on... Oh god, is this a fucking hype beast blog? Okay. Today's drop being led by the much-anticipated Mortal Kombat Arcade cabinet. Oh my god. 
is this a quadrillion dollar shit meme cabinet? Oh. <laughs> there, no, no fucking way. No fucking way, <laughs> right? <laughs> There is actually no way that that is real. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I'm gonna fucking let the ball feed from the ray, roll off the left flipper, and then I'm gonna make a shot for the gazillion on the fly. Damn it! I just don't want the fucking ball to ever be in the pops! It's real, I touched it with my own hands at a height beast store. That's crazy. Hey, baby, can Dude, I being in close proximity to an actual arcade is changing me as a person. Yesterday I fucking googled good shoes for DDR. My footwear situation is kind of specific, because if I don't have good ankle support, then I run the risk of, like, just breaking my ankles or feet at all times. And so I am usually in fucking what are those at all times. I'm like, hey, it's been 20 years since I bought a pair of shoes. Is it time? Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. I feel you. Yeah, ever since I broke the leg, I switched off the Crocs. Ugh, that fucking sucks. I like the consolation prize for sailing through the outlane like somebody fucking threw a. Perfect fucking underhand. My favorite fo choice for DDR is socks and leaning back on the railing. I think the ops at our location will kill me if I try to play in socks. Hey, They've got flyers up about no baby powder at least. I'm pretty sure that same flyer says shoes required. Okay, so bonus X is a mystery award? I don't really care about Reflex 2 right now. I'm really trying to sh- I am trying to shit so bad. You would not believe how hard I am trying to shit. It is crazy. Why are they gonna fucking tell me special is lit when I'm in the match sequence? I've actually been playing Dr. Dude for an hour. It's... it's not just bad, it's terminal. Hey. Hey. Getting a little better at shooting Magnet. Alright. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. Heart is definitely the scariest shot on the table. I wonder if there's a way for me to spot, uh, heart lights instead of actually shooting the target. Do the inlanes fucking do anything besides make a noise? Alright, All right, so my answer to Orange Star is what pun? I appreciate how the game is kind enough to spot you a uh, lit extra ball if you just completely fucking brick balls one and two. Like, if you get absolutely nothing done, it just takes pity on you right away, and I can't even take advantage of that. 
playing Doctor Dude and did an It's Terminal joke. Is that a... Is that a pun? I guess it's a joke. <laughs> Alright, everyone, it's time to talk about what is funny. Everyone's favorite conversation to have on the internet. Hey. Those fucking slings are tuned super tight, too. They don't let you get away with shit. <laughs> Gift of Gab definitely needed to make that noise every single time you shoot it. It's like you really don't want to shoot the orbit because coming out of the pop bumpers is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. One flipper. One flipper at a time. If you're catching the edge of the fucking ball with the edge of the flipper, the other flipper needs to stay down so the ball has a surface to fucking come off of. Because you are not launching it, you are deflecting it. You are so dumb! You are the dumbest motherfucker to ever walk the earth. Scientists from future generations. Ally acquired the gift of gab. This is gonna fucking. This is actually gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. A group of 20 people taking inner tubes to my local park yesterday to take advantage of hurricane flooding. Is Florida okay? Like, as an independent nation of people. I'm working on it. Please don't fuck me! Alright, we're gonna transfer. Just kidding, we're gonna shoot Gab. I'm gonna take it on the fly. Fucking Wes and Elizabeth are uh, in Florida right now, and they lost power, but they're otherwise okay. Dude, how do I fucking kill it so quickly every single time? Like, no major damage in their area. Apparently the fucking thing changed course when it made landfall or something. Dude, I just want to see what the gazillion even does. How much is a gazillion? Oh, I see the jackpot meter in the back. And it goes up to five. Last I checked, five million is not equal to a gazillion. I am not an expert, though. I did not go to school for theoretical ma mathematics. I just stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. I can't even fucking talk because I'm thinking of how much I don't want this fucking ball to go in the pop bumpers. Finding Aladdin roots for Gazil. <laughs> I think if we're, if we're picking between corruptions of, like, the words million or billion or trillion, I think one Brazilian points is probably my favorite form that can take. Not hit gap. Don't fuck me. There we go. Oh, that is the punchline of a fucking blonde joke, isn't it? 
I don't actually remember how the joke goes, I just remember hearing that. Brazilian skydivers died in the crash. Oh no, how many are in a Brazilian? Ah, uh, yep. Every fucking time I shoot for Gab and get the orbit, it's just like terror. Hey, start. Hey, mix it up. All right, we just executed the highly technical Gab skip, which allows you to uh, light the ray without having to <laughs> listen to Dr. Dude talk about the gift of Gab. It's like, if that post transfer goes south, the only thing I can do is shoot it off the fucking tip of the flipper. And nothing good happens over there. You better not. All right, I'm actually just gonna... Oh shit, okay. So it's just like half a mil for every single fucking uh, time you hit a target in there. I don't know where the fuck it's going off that. I'm actually a world champion at killing every single scoring mode the moment it starts. And it's like, oh, but multi-balls in modern games usually have ball savers, so if you break something right away, it's not so bad. Fucking welcome to 1990. We have never heard of a ball saver in our entire lives. You know what I was going to say at the start of that multi-ball, too, before I got cut off by being bad at the game? You're I said, four. I'm just going to focus oh, no. on keeping the ball in play. Thank you. Thank you very much, Big Shot. Hey, you're a queen. Does that shot even fucking do anything for me? Hey, baby, can I buy you a couple of Hey, do not fucking do this to me. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. heat map of where this ball is actually going this game, and it's just red in the no, pot bumpers, nothing anywhere that? else. You're a dork. Thank you. Whoa. I just want one reasonable game. Is that really so much to ask? Like, actually only one. I got fucking pinged. That was at nice. Excellent. All right. I think if I start actually raging at this fucking thing, I'm just gonna put on Swords of Fury instead. Swords of Fury is also, like, trying to beat your ass. But it has the greatest callout ever. TL note, I think every callout is the greatest callout ever. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. And also, I bothered to look into the rules slightly more than bomb the left orbit over and over again. So I kind of want to give it another shot. Dude, what did I do? Oh shit. Is it time for Gorgar? Oh no. 
<laughs> now you fucking done it. Now you fucking did it. <laughs> Whatever happens from here on out is your responsibility, pal. <laughs> it is now inappropriate time for Gorgar. Or my PC might crash, we're not sure yet. Alright. VPX just fucking closed. Really doesn't like it when you load different tables without shutting down the fucking program. I have no idea whether other people have this problem or not. Gorgar 1.1.vpx <laughs> First pinball table to earn one Gorgarillion credits. Alright, so, uh... Getting the segments for this is going to be a little tricky. I th think I know what order these are in. We are going to have to find out together. Please, Hook. Please, Hook. I am fucking begging you to actually game capture. Thank you. All right. You want a theme that's the exact opposite of the last theme? Yeah! Gorgar! Can't you run VPX in borderless windowed? Uh, what is this in reference to? I don't even know how you score on this game either. <laughs> it's like it enters the in lane and then the hand of God just fucking click and drags it into the out lane. <laughs> Trouble with game capture. Yeah, I think it might just be a hook rate thing. I don't like using borderless for anything because fucking Windows is famously buggy with uh, multiple monitors that have different refresh rates and anything but exclusive full screen. Alright. Snake shot time. Snake shot time. Anything but what's happening to me currently. What? Did the magnet seriously just reject on that completely, or does it not activate when the shot's actually lit? Oh well, it scored. It sure did fucking score, baby. Reminder that Gorgar is still on its fucking all-time high of the default 500k. I am nowhere near there. We are strapping in for the long haul. It's gonna be bad. Nothing's ever gonna make it good. Yeah, the refresh rate situation is hilarious. All right, so I got, <laughs> I have a 1440p ultra wide at 120. I have a portrait 1440p 16.9 monitor also at 120. I have a landscape 16.9 at 60 hertz. I have a portrait 16.9 at 16 hertz, or uh, 60 hertz, that can technically do 144, but not on the display hookup that I've got for it because it only does it over DVI-D. It's like, nothing makes sense. Every time I try to make my situation better, it just makes it more complicated in a way that I was completely unable to predict. Other than by, like, you know, making educated guesses about how computers work. That's my fault. Seriously, why did I boot up Gorgar instead of fucking Swords of Fury? I mean, I know why. Because Gorgar lives rent-free in my fucking head. 
Wow, sick line completion. Fuck! That's not even like a Gorgar thing. That's just me not being very good at pinball right now. I appreciate that there's like no possible way any single human can fully understand everything about how a given computer system is functioning. Like, we've just reached that point. In the same way that, like, nobody even understands every part of a car. One thousand win lit. Do I just bomb it into the spinner? What lights the spinner, anyway? Why is the heartbeat getting faster, Gorgar? Stop it! What the fuck? That was some video game shit that happened right there. Why is it getting faster? <laughs> Seriously, my relationship with Gorgar is like Jumanji. We have to beat the game to go home. <laughs> don't know what Jumanji is. What if Sword Art Online was a board game? I'm sorry, that's, that's actually the worst thing I've ever said on this stream. <laughs> I'm, there's, there's no redemption for me after that one. <laughs> No, but for real, what lights the spinner? I don't even know. There's a rule sheet down there. Maybe I can read it when I'm not busy getting my ass beat. It doesn't say? Huh. Accurate to the video game re- Oh god, right! They did a fucking Jumanji reboot! I actually completely forgot about that. Fuck! Alright, I'm now resolving to just fucking nudge up whenever the ball is anywhere near going towards an outlane. I hate how effective the heartbeat is at making you fucking panic. Did I tilt? I don't even know. Yeah, this is the almost regret effort to play this the first time. It's it's taken over my fucking brain. It's actually a really cool design too. It's just like, no matter how long I play on it, I never feel like I score any better. Yup. It's hard out here. I was all excited to get back to streaming with the fucking AC working, and then, like, 
almost instantly. Cox Communications decides, yeah, you know that $140 a month to pay for an internet service because we have a fucking regional monopoly and if you don't like it, you can fucking eat dirt. Well, we've decided that it would be way easier to also not give you the service that you're paying for while still taking your money. That cool with you? As previously mentioned, if you don't like it, eating dirt is an option available to you. We like to give our customers choice. <laughs> I just got out of VR and I am seething. How's, uh, fucking, what is it, Bone Lab? Every fucking VR game sounds the same, I swear. It's probably just literally that and Boneworks. I'm a dirt queen. Alright! Fucking Dirt Eaters Anonymous. We will not be silenced. I'm gonna go to Lowe's, and I'm gonna get a 40 pound bag of mulch. And that's all for me. I'm not even sharing. Snake targets up. The million dollar shot, and he bricks it completely. It's embarrassing for everyone. like 500,000 is so high Bone Lab is its sequel. Oh, okay. All right. Bone Lab is not good. It's basically a $40 shotgun slash mod support slash avatar switcher update for Bone Works, but the physics are even worse. <laughs> Excellent. Chris says it's the best calorie per dollar meal there is. I'm not sure which is my favorite post about calorie min-maxing. The fucking comparison between 400 Big Macs and a, a fucking bag of topsoil? Or the green text about the guy who orders, like, primate food wholesale <laughs> and eats exclusively fucking, like, bonobo chow? Both of those fucking posts are posts of all time. <laughs> Gorilla maxing. There we. I fucking. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Why does it do that to me? Why does it do that? <laughs> but to start Gorilla maxing, and I'm gonna start by fucking throwing things around my room and smearing shit on the walls. <laughs> What was I supposed to do? What was the, what was the counterplay? Where were the eels? What kind of scoring strategy even makes sense in this fucking madhouse? I looked over at chat. That's my fault. Oh yeah, speaking of index controls, how about that $1,500 fucking Quest Pro, huh? We don't even know if it's $1,500 yet. Looks nice and sleek and cool. I like the idea of being wireless while still getting fucking behind the backtracking, but uh... I don't know. I'm still... Looking at Pimax doing their thing. <sighs> the leak it confirmed it looked fake as hell. Did it? I feel like most outlets are reporting on that with complete faith in it, and it matches up with the like pixelated fucked up shit that we keep seeing in the uh 
Is it unethical to call them meta? I think I'm just gonna keep saying Facebook. All the fucking Facebook trailers. With an unnaturally oily Mark Zuckerberg doing virtual fencing. some dude get that with cat food once. Forced the cat to dry food because wet had so much protein. <laughs> what kind of fucked up nutritional deficiencies do you get if you only eat fucking pet food? Or fucking gorilla chow? <laughs> Trying to use any headset up an index slash Oculus when there's the game unplayable to the point where you can't even pick up guns. Well, Frog. Everyone knows that no one bought WMR headsets. No one spent 200 quadrillion dollars on the Vive Pro to use it with index controllers. No one in the world did that. Whopping 50k from the snake shot. I swear I only ever complete 1, 2, 3, 4 when I'm not trying for it. Because I feel like the way you actually get it is through the fucking inlanes. Like, shooting the 1, 2, 3, 4 targets is terrifying. I've seen this fucking game, like, played among, like, fucking competitive pinball players and they dead fuck just alley pass over and over again to spot one two three four dude gorillas are legitimately fucking they're beautiful and terrifying creatures it's that shit where like even even through three layers of glass you're like, that animal could fuck me up. That animal could fuck me up and it would be free. Like, you can have that realization independently about a good number of things in the animal kingdom. Gorillas are like, that's your first and only thought. You don't have the option to think something else. Isaac Senek Bush Pig, Saberman. Confirms that he would fight and win against a gorilla. Imagine if Skullgirls got a patch to turn the fucked hitboxes into actual pixel based collision. That's Bone Lab. I really want. I want shit going straight between the legs on Val's J, uh, MK. I just want fighting games to be worse, actually. We have no way to actually estimate the power of a gorilla. I like that the implication isn't that we don't have, like, the methodology required to measure the force of, like, a primate, but that, like, no known equipment we have can withstand them. Like, you're gonna get one of those earthquake machine trucks. <laughs> Maybe I just play this purely on flow and give no fucks about anything that's going on. Maybe I just take the shots as they occur to me. Just take the take the Zen approach. It's how pinball was meant to be played, I think. If we can teach Coco to learn words, I wonder if we can teach a gorilla to deadlift. It seems like the sort of thing they'd be interested in, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay. 
Did I tell? I sure did. what my fucking friends said. Like... Would you rather have Eminem make and public publicly distribute a diss track about you? Or one minute in the ring with Mike Tyson? <laughs> These are your options, choose wisely. Like, obviously, that wasn't a very interesting question for me. Because, like, even more than the normal person, fucking Mike is certain death. Like, no chance. I have to clarify, like, you can run away from Mike Tyson. That's permitted within the rule set. You get one minute in the fucking UFC cage, and you can run. <laughs> but, like... One minute. I feel like that's maybe 54 seconds too long, conservatively. <laughs> I think a lot about that AI generated Joe Rogan bit about making an unstoppable hockey team. <laughs> that reminds me of the fucking accelerationist takes. The fucking, like, dude bro fucking dissertations on like actually all steroids should be legal in every sport all steroids should be mandatory in every sport i'm fucking done with gorgar i can't handle this anymore <laughs> i'd rather have to fight a chicken every time you step outside or have to sword fight a chimp to the death once a year yeah that's like i already don't go outside like, I I think I'd accept, like, fighting off a chicken to go to round one once a week. I think I'd be good. I saw my steroid dick recently. Steroids should be legal, but only for the designated hitter. Holy fuck, that rules. That is so good. What the fuck? Visionary king shit. Alright, is this gonna hook? I feel like setting the hook rate higher made it slower to hook. I don't understand what the fuck that's all about. Turn that fucking shit up. I actually don't even know how loud this is, because my fucking OBS layout got fucked up again and I can't see my volume sliders. If your girl and your mom switch bodies and you had to fuck one of them to turn them back, which one would you choose? Yeah, we're done! We're done. Disowned. Just not handling that. <laughs> Alright. Fucking belt that shit. I'm off the post. Yep. This machine's fucking loud, by the way. Like, spiritually. And I appreciate that about it. Found power one. They really said, like, we needed a fucking sword slash every single time you hit the flipper for the whole game. And honestly, I, I respect that. I 
I fucked up the hurry up. And Lion Man just fucking laughs at you. Is it really just dump it back? <laughs> that was the worst life catch of all time. drop targets up there are so weird. Like, there's no wall behind them, so if you hit the same target twice too quickly, you drain out of the upper playfield. And that's how they control, like, how long you can stay up there. At least in part. Also, every single time you drain out of the upper playfield, it de-levels the targets in it. They're not hard to level up, but it's weird, you know? Oh yeah, and if you have a ball locked, you do that, it just fucking spits out the locked ball at a completely different timing than the ball you shot would have fucking gone through the loop. Imagine hitting the hurry up! Alright, we locked the ball, all good. Found power two. This game was designed to be a Dungeons & Dragons pinball, but Williams couldn't get the license. That actually doesn't surprise me at all. Like, I didn't specifically expect it, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Fucking something something theater of magic. Yeah, like, everything about this theme makes me think of, like, the second edition fucking source books, you know? It's got that feeling to it. Alright, can I actually get fucking anything done in this game today? I mean, first card is warm-up. Sure, whatever. I actually thought I just disliked games with center posts until I played this one. To be fair, my experience with them was pretty limited and included Stern Wheel of Fortune, which is like... What the fuck is that? Probably be reasonable and like try to shoot for the fucking lock. Here's my chance. Nope. A little wider. Not quite that wide, Jesus. Post transfer? Ooh! That was an ugly shot, but it worked. Here come the guards! <laughs> Bear witness. Can I actually get something out of the upper playfield, please? I actually fucking love this multi ball because of how hard it is to keep track of the three different fucking locations on the playfield. Do I loop it? Okay. Adios, Isaac. The other thing about this game is that every ramp reject sucks so fucking bad. I firmly believe the only reason this game has a center post is because they could not figure out how to make the center ramp suck less if you don't clear it. Damn, that's crazy. You actually don't need to do shit to lock balls in this game. You just fucking take the shot. Whatever. Stern Wheel of Fortune rules, though. You don't even believe that, and you're telling me that. Stern Wheel of Fortune does not rule. That game is whack. Like, I guess it's not hard for me to understand how somebody could enjoy it. 
but holy fuck. Regarding enhancements and sports, I saw an anime where a dude used meth to memorize the scratches on the backs of Mahjong tiles. 10 out of 10, best meta. That's... Mahjong media just hits different, dude. I don't know what to fucking tell ya. I feel like I need to bust out the fucking Cassiopeia discography and just fucking grind Tenho on stream for a bit. Just have that experience. Maybe the stars have finally aligned for me to actually hold meetups again. There's a couple fixes I need to make to Tile Gun before I want to push the next update. But it's like almost there, and I'm pretty proud of what's there right now. Damn it. Way too early for the fucking lock. What the hell? That hit the fucking right side of the U turn. Found power one. One of the most exciting feelings when getting into anything new is the idea that, like, oh god, people can be so much better at this than I ever thought possible. Realizing that the fucking ceiling is moving upward in real time. Dude. Magnus, stop being a little bitch! Either make the accusation or play your fucking game. Resigning on move one affects other people in the event, you fucking ding-dong. Take it easy. Like, in what universe is fucking... <sighs> play the goddamn tournament. Don't collude in my fucking tournament. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know, if you bang it at light speed into the post that sends things straight down to the middle, I guess it should probably not surprise you when the ball goes at light speed straight down the middle, huh? Take it easy, demon. Really appreciate that again. Thank you so much, dude. Fucking get your rest. They put a pinball in my pinball in my pinball. I actually don't like anything about, like, Family Guy, really. But I have to admit that Stern Family Guy is, like, themed really well, and it has maybe my favorite mini play field. Like, Stewie Pinball is pretty good. That manages to feel like actual pinball up there while still being like tiny and wacky. Found power one. I had to do that three, four years ago. Glad I finally got to. Well, thank you, man. Fucking. Is it fair to say I actually don't know what to say? I don't know how it is. Hopefully. actually random? I actually don't- Oh, that was terrible. Is it any- Is it any better as Shrek Pinball? I haven't played Shrek, and for those who don't know, Shrek is a, uh, re-theme of Family Guy that uses almost exactly the same rules and the exact same playfield. I think the rules are, like, very slightly different because some character shots got moved around. From what I've read, it's basically just what if Family Guy had less callouts? Not like less often, but less of them.
And it's like, why wait? I feel like Stern Family Guy, like, part of the appeal of that game is the sheer number of fucking references per second it throws at you. Like, if you are inclined to, I saw the thing and I clapped at all, that game's there for you. Stern WrestleMania has a fun minifield just bouncing on the ropes. Might have to try that. I wonder if the guy working on Unreal, uh, Unreal Tournament for VPX has released any updates. I remember giving that a couple goes and enjoying it. I'm fucking potato right now, what the fuck? I can't even play for shit. I don't know, man. I like the art. I like the mu I like the music. I like the callouts. I like the layout. There's a lot to love. I'm not sure what causes the drops to stay down for longer. Because they do start ramping up in difficulty, but I don't know what triggers it exactly. It's like, now they're down for way longer. Also, that was a sick sequence. The fuck? I'm the best. Can he do it? The million dollar shot. Na -na -na. I keep shooting that shallow. Okay, not quite that wide, buddy. Top left of the table is the real gameplay. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like that. Found power one. I just saw that light up top for Magic Target scores special win lead. What even fucking enables that? Pretty cool lock. I would love to be able to take that shot directly. Oh, dude, I actually got onto the fucking- I shot Avenger and didn't even notice because I was too focused. Wait, did this start as a two-ball multi-ball? Did something weird happen? Damn it. I thought that was gonna have more energy and it could go off the center post. I know, I missed the hurry up, Lion Man. I know! I'm sorry. Alright, give me a second, huh? <laughs> Fuck. The first time I saw that too late flash... That's pretty neat. I thought it was because I tried to fucking nudge out of an out lane and failed. And I got really upset. <laughs> Maybe I should take that shot last because it kind of comes off the uh, the base of the flipper as it returns. So make the eye nice. I promise you I just want the jackpot. That's all I want. So where do I actually want to shoot this? 
trying to use like the playfield art as a guide. And that gives me a really good spot to hit the fucking U-turn from, but uh problem with the U-turn is that it returns at fucking Mach 7 directly into the center. Ah! <laughs> Laugh it up. Cradling in the upper playfield is fucking difficult, though. Hey streamer, if you're gonna continue to play this table that heavily rewards you for hitting the left orbit, you should probably try to hit the left orbit a little more. I know. I wonder if there's anywhere on this fucking layout to actually put the game's back glass. This table looks almost looks as painful as Gorgar. It is nowhere near Gorgar level. The entire idea of having an upper playfield to begin with, because let's let's think about what this actually is. It's a spot where you can shoot the ball, where if you miss, you don't drain. There are no outlanes on that playfield, and if you miss it with the fucking flipper, the worst that happens is that it comes sliding down a very forgiving fucking left orbit. Or, it's not an orbit, is it? If it fucking always blasts directly into the lock. I don't know. Point is, the return ain't bad. Feeds the left flipper very gently. I don't want to say Gorgar is the worst thing that's ever happened to mankind, but it's up there. I don't know, the fucking cheese ball fantasy. Just has me thinking back to fucking coming home from the library with every single R.A. Salvatore book. Like, I just picked up the section. This is mine now. Listen, that hurry up's not gonna happen. I'm somewhere else on the playfield right now. You're gonna have to accept that if you want this relationship to work. Or you could laugh at me. Why the fuck does the callout for Lion Man play twice sometimes for no reason? Okay, maybe why the fuck for no reason isn't exactly in the spirit of discovery and science, but seriously, it feels complete. <laughs> Great. reason to exist. Term was way different. The fuck happened. All the way around? Nice. Freeze. 
Alright. I'm sure there's some timing where I can go straight to the upper playfield with that. Nice! Fucking nailed it. And immediately drained. That's just satisfying to hit. Magnets in this fucking thing, dude. Alright. Honestly, I'm good with that. It wasn't even a particularly great game, but I hit the fucking jackpot, which I almost never do, so I'm kind of okay with it. It is like 80 degrees in here, and it's gonna keep warming up until the fucking AC kicks on again, so that is it for me. I'm gonna fucking open the door and see if I can grab some snacks in the cool. Take it easy, y'all. Thanks for the cup. Listen to that guy. Don't listen to me. Fucking, what do I know about anything? That's what I'm signing off with. Fucking free the titans. Fuck it. <laughs>